Hey everybody, welcome back for another video. For this one, I will be checking out Claudio Seminari's Goblin, which they are playing a live set for Suspiria, uh, the original one, obviously. And yeah, the show's in Oakland, so I'm actually, it's like almost four in the morning right now as I'm recording this. So yeah, I'm gonna be heading to the airport, uh, meeting up with my friend Reyna uh, in Sacramento, and then we'll both be heading out to the uh, to the show to check it out. Hopefully it's freaking awesome, which I'm sure it will be. And yeah, not much else to say. Let's go do this.
Shout out to Dad, Zombie, and Zara to Zong.
Okay guys, my little adventure up north is over with unfortunately. Flew up to Sacramento. Raina picked me up, say hi. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we drove up to Oakland to go check out Goblin, freaking Suspiria screening, like what the fuck? <laughs> What'd you think? Had to hang yeah, real estate is superior, huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. Well, yeah, they had a bunch of cool merch, and hey, they were like, show me the money, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, uh, got a cool, um, you know, got a good amount of footage, obviously, and yeah, I know uh, my buddy Chris and Amy went to uh, the San Diego one, so yeah, they had a, it was weird though, they had a different set list, which, yeah. yeah. They played Tenebra at ours, they didn't play Tenebra at theirs, and then they played three tracks from Dawn of the Dead. And I think that might be the ones that they have Yeah. And we paid for a standing room only, but it ended up being, we, we got freaking seats. People got their lay, they're all pissed off, but hey, you snooze, you lose, right? Seriously. Shit. Not our fault. <laughs> Show up early, folks. But yeah, uh, so now, Reyna's dropping me off at the airport, and gotta go back home. She got a bunch of cool shit. I did too. We stopped by at a couple, uh, couple random local like stops. Stopped at a Goodwill, picked up some cool shit, and now on my way home to uh, show you guys what I got. Okay, everybody. So I'm back home, and first of all, I want to give a huge shout out to Reyna because. Whenever you watch this, uh, without you, yeah, like this little trip wouldn't have even been possible. Like, thanks for, you know, getting tickets, first of all. And then, yeah, picking me up from the airport to, you know, Sacramento to Oakland to actually check out the show. Uh, yeah, getting a rental car and all that. It was a hassle, I know. But, yeah, we got through it. Checked out the show. It was definitely a freaking cool experience checking out uh, Claudio Seminari's Goblin. Uh, not only that, but you know, checking out Suspiria for the first time on the big screen. Um, yeah, that was pretty cool. And not only that, but it being scored live. So, yeah, um, definitely. A, it's like pro I, I gotta say, it's probably one of the best live events I've ever been to. Like, yeah, I had a fucking blast. I got a bunch of cool stuff. And yeah, speaking of that, I'm gonna show it to you right now. Let's get to it. All right, guys. I'm gonna be starting off with. Uh... Well, obviously Suspiria, the film which they screened. So obviously had to have uh, Claudio sign this one. And, you know, met Argento. Uh, I was lucky enough to meet Argento last year for uh, Texas Frightmare. So if, if I ever get a chance to meet him again, hopefully uh, this time I can have him sign this poster. So I can have both of them uh, on this one. So, yeah. And next up, Demons. One of my favorite freaking movies of all time the first time i saw this i absolutely fell in love with it i mean just the atmosphere uh the setting especially you know like freaking movie theater and demons start fucking trying to kill you so yeah <laughs> yeah i just fell in love and let's not mention you know let's not forget to mention the great music in it so yeah they played this uh I've, i almost freaking lost it like one of my favorite themes right here so i had to have claudio sign that uh, I do have another Demons poster, a different one, signed by uh, Argento. So, yeah. I'm really hoping I can uh, get a chance to meet Argento again, to have him sign a couple of these. So, that'd be freaking uh, pretty cool. And now, we move on to one of my favorite zombie flicks of all time. George Romero, Rest in Peace. This movie always stuck with me as well, just the setting. I mean, like, let's face it, the mall would be the ideal place like for a zombie apocalypse whether it's to seek shelter or you know try to find weapons or whatnot yeah this movie like the setting always just stuck with me just for that uh and yeah i mean the score you got freaking you know tom savini ken foray like it's fucking awesome i don't know if it's uh you know, I think I, Night of the Living Dead is my favorite Romero uh, film, don't get me wrong. But yeah, this one, I just, I fucking love this movie. And it, it goes to show you, like, Claudio and, you know, they played about, 
I, I forgot it was, it was, they played a couple of tracks from this film and it was a tribute to George Romero uh, at this show which I thought was fucking awesome like if you guys watch my um my Monster Palooza video earlier this year they also had a nice tribute to him uh, I mean it, it, you know it just goes to show you like how um how much George Romero like impacted the horror community you know what I mean so yeah I had to have Claudio sign this like yeah I just had to and next up I had Claudio sign my Phenomena poster also known as Creepers of course and I wanted to I have a Phenomena poster signed by Argento but I just I, I love this poster so much it stuck with me since I was like a little kid because I have uh this is the version I have on VHS so I've always loved this artwork as well so I kind of wanted to differentiate you know posters I didn't want the same exact poster signed you know one signed by Argento and one signed by Claudio so yeah I figure I'll get this one signed as you can see right there boom pretty freaking cool and my last 11 by 17 poster I got signed was uh, this one right here it was an event poster I found online and you know went through and uh, printed it out myself brought it to the show not only did I have Claudio sign it, but as you guys can see there, uh, every member of Goblin uh, signed it. And, I mean, I had to, you know, commemorate such a freaking awesome night, awesome event, great experience. I also got one for uh, Reyna. She got her signed as well. And, yeah, and what else can I say? Got in blood red to go along with the freaking poster. And, yeah, pretty fucking cool. Next up, guys, as I already stated, these are two of my absolute favorites, so I had to bring my DVD inserts uh, for Claudio to sign. I mean, classics, both of these. Look, look at this shit. Even Roger Ebert gave Dawn of the Dead four stars, and Roger Ebert was a fucking dick at reviewing horror films, so that right there should tell you guys something. <laughs> okay, guys, now for some merchandise I picked up at the show. I got this uh, Goblin CD. It's music for a witch tour edition signed by Claudio of course as you guys can see there and if my camera can focus there we go these are the tracks on it and uh, I actually listened to this whole CD like on the drive back home once uh, once I arrived you know from the airport back home so yeah pretty freaking cool uh, little CD here next up for the merch guys I picked up this fucking awesome Demons freaking original soundtrack like tin case uh, the guy at the merch table said apparently they had just arrived like the day of the show from Japan uh, they special order them just for this show um, I mean I suppose I don't know if they're getting any more but yeah apparently they only had like 30 of these and there were 40 bucks so definitely had to pick one up and I'm about to show you guys what's inside and here you guys go. All the goodies that came inside of this uh, Demons original soundtrack uh, tin set. Pretty freaking cool. First of all, I thought this was interesting. They had Demons, the soundtrack remixed. Check that out. Freaking curious to see what, uh, what that sounds like. And of course, the original soundtrack signed by Claudio. And there's Argento himself. Check this out. There you go. That's what that looks like. And we got a pin and this little like holographic uh, insert poster thing. Pretty freaking cool. And this was fucking awesome. Like Metropole ticket. Come on. And I had to have Claudio sign it in red, of course. Look, look at it. Little blood stains on it. Like 40 bucks. How fucking cool is that? Okay, guys, and some more merchandise I picked up. Had to pick up an event t shirt. You guys can see on the front, of course, it has Dario Argento's Suspiria. And if I flip it over to the back, it has all the uh, tour dates. So check that out to commemorate the event of course I mean I, I yeah 
I had to pick up, you know, who knows uh, when they're going to do this again. So, yeah, I figure why not pick up a t-shirt, you know, a couple items. And that's everything I picked up at the show. But as I did state earlier in the video, uh, we did check out uh, a Goodwill. And yeah, I was lucky enough, I found uh, Pulp Fiction, the soundtrack, uh, for like four bucks, as you guys can see there. So yeah, had to freaking pick that one up. Royale with cheese. One of my favorite freaking uh, scenes in the movie. So, and then check this out. Reyna was cool enough. Uh, she actually found this for me. Stephen King's Christine. And it was like freaking two dollars. Two fucking dollars. I'm like, yeah, you can't go wrong with that. Well, let me wait. Actually, let me check. Is it mint condition? Well, eh, it should be cherry. Okay. And yet another freaking awesome Goodwill pickup. Picked up this awesome fucking denim vest. It's blank. And it's freaking bare bones. So, look at it. I got a shitload of patches. I have a couple of back patches I can choose to put on here. So, I'm like extremely happy with this. It was only like eight bucks. So, yeah. <laughs> Definitely going to um, try to figure out which uh, patches to put on this freaking awesome vest. And definitely my favorite pickups uh, I got at the Goodwill, Rock and Roll High School. I mean, PJ Souls, Dick Miller, Ramones. Look at this. Like I, I think it was how much was it? Four ninety nine, five bucks. And oh my god, I lost my shit so bad. Like I geeked out hard when I found this. Look at look how much it was. A fucking dollar. Lost Boys soundtrack. On cassette, like what the fuck? Look, it has all the hits right there. You guys can see. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's a very serious soundtrack, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, overall, you know, guys, I had a freaking blast. Not just at the show, but just hanging out with Reyna. Uh, we checked out, you know, the Goodwill, obviously, and we checked out. She actually took me to, I believe it was in Sacramento. It's uh, donut shop called uh, Donut Madness. If you guys are ever in the area, it's basically a freaking horror themed donut shop. Like they got posters all over the freaking walls. They we tried two donuts. One was uh, called Friday the Thirteenth. Another one was called Halloween. They just had like weird, like funny names for. They had like uh, Evil Bread and just like funny like you know, names of, like, horror movies, but, like, puns, so, yeah, I thought that was pretty freaking funny, uh, and, yeah, they were fucking delicious, too, by the way, so if you guys are ever in the, uh, Sacramento area, definitely check out Donut Madness, fucking awesome, like, yeah, they're fucking awesome, and here you guys have it, the last of, uh, my pickups. Okay, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video, you guys saw some of the cool songs I got to hear live, uh, the stuff I got signed, you know, they had a free meeting greet after, and they were extremely, like, so freaking humble. I've never seen anybody just more appreciative uh, of their fans, which was freaking awesome. I mean, you definitely want that from, you know, people you idolize and stuff. So, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you got, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, if you did, keep subscribing, you know, hit the like button, all that good stuff. I definitely appreciate it. And, yeah. I'll see you guys for the next one.